Hi, I'm Lori Searle. Do you ever ask yourself, where did the time go? Well, if you're anything like me, you find it difficult to do the things that you like to do during the day. And that includes hitting the gym or going to the yoga studio and taking a yoga class. Well, I've developed a five to 10 minute routine that you can do at the very beginning of your day or the very end of your day or both. That'll make you feel nice and relaxed, nice and rejuvenated, and won't make you feel so guilty if you miss the gym or miss that yoga class. The first thing that I would say is if you do this at the beginning of the day, that you set your alarm clock at least 10 minutes before your early meeting or your conference call, or especially if you have kids. So we'll start at the very beginning, when we wake up. You're gonna take a moment in bed. Lying in bed when the alarm goes off, hit the alarm softly, don't hit snooze. And just take a moment between the space and being asleep and being awake to start listening to your breath. Maybe even listen to your heartbeat. Feel the bed beneath you. And just start to see how you feel. Just take a moment. Because the first thing you wanna do when you wake up is start in a clear space. The last thing you wanna do is rush up and start running around and creating that negative space at the beginning of the day. Because then that's just gonna create negativity through the rest of your day, right? So you wanna be nice and on point for your day. So you're taking your moment and then when you're ready, you can slowly get up, being really mindful, like a moving meditation. You're just gonna sit at the edge of your bed, either cross-legged, or you can take your legs and let them hang off the bed and just start to come into your breath. I like to take my palm, just place it on the belly and take really deep breaths. If you're familiar with the Ujjayi breath, which is a meditative audible breath, all it is is a little hug at the base of the throat and it kind of sounds like this. A little bit cross between a baby snoring and Darth Vader, or a little bit like the ocean. So if you can come into the be that breath, great. Otherwise, deep inhales and exhales through the nose is just as good. A couple seconds of that. You can take your palms, place them at the heart, or you can keep them at your belly or your heart, and come into your intention. Setting an intention for the beginning of the day, whether you practice yoga or not, is the most important thing. It's just a way of being mindful, dropping into the moment, whether you're practicing, whether you're working, whether you're having meetings with people, you can do yoga at any time by dropping into your intention. And it can be as simple as saying, I wanna be good to myself today, or I wanna be good to others, or sending your intention out to someone you love. A few words is really just good. So set your intention, and then when things get frustrating during the day, you find it difficult, then you can just remember your intention and it'll all be better. Once you have your intention, it's ready. You're ready to start moving. So you'll get up out of your bed. Some of us have really tight backs of the legs, hamstrings and low back. So I would say you can face your bed at this point and then just um, when you're ready, you can come into your yoga space. So you might have your yoga mat next to your bed when you're ready to do your sequence or you can just do this on the floor. You don't even need a yoga mat. So from here, we're gonna just start with a lateral stretch. So facing your bed, Feet are open about hip width. You're gonna take a big juicy breath in through the nose, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers and stretch up towards the ceiling and then over towards the left side. So you're stretching the right side of your body, reaching to the left. Then you'll take a big breath in, stretch all the way up and over to the right side, stretching your left side body. Take a big breath in, slowly come on up and then as you exhale, draw your palms back behind you, interlace the fingers and stretch. This is gonna open up the heart space, open up the shoulders, front of shoulders and the chest. We're so used to rounding during the day when we're holding our groceries, our kids, our bags, sitting in front of the computer and driving, that this is a wonderful pose to come into any time of the day. It's really great to just come into that pose. Take a big breath in and then from here as you exhale, take those palms to the very edge of the bed and you're gonna walk your, uh, your feet back as much as you can in order to tabletop your spine. So you'd be able to put a, a Coke and a plate of sushi or your bacon and eggs right there at the edge of your, your spine. And then from here, you're gonna take a big breath and look up and lengthen, tilt your pelvis up, arch the spine, and then exhale round. We're gonna do that about two, three, five, ten times, depending on how much time you have. Inhaling and exhaling, just warming up the spine. The spine does a lot for us during the day, so we wanna make sure it's nice and warm and ready to go starting our day with our intention, with gentleness. And then from here, you can slowly begin to round up to stand. 
You can move away from the bed at this point and come into your yoga space, your, your uh, mat space. Take a big breath in, reach the arms up and over the head. From here, we're gonna do what's called a vinyasa or linking our breath with our movement. As we exhale, we'll fold forward. As you inhale, you'll just look up and lengthen the spine. Now, if you've got those tight hamstrings or low back, bend those knees. And then exhale, just fold forward, hang forward, reaching for the floor or your thighs or your calves rather. Inhale, look up and lengthen. And then as you exhale, bend the knees deeply, plant the palms. You're gonna walk your way back into a plank pose. Plank can be with the knees lifting or to the floor. You're gonna take another breath here and then slowly lower your heart space down towards the floor. Release the tops of the feet and the belly. Inhale to Cobra, which is just a little back bend, an energizing back bend. Always good to do back bends in the morning when your spine is warm, because it's energizing. Just like a cup of coffee without the caffeine. And fold forward into your child's pose, hips to the heels lengthening those arms. Take a couple deep breaths there if you can, and then rise up into downward facing dog. Again, bending the knees if you need to, to protect those tight hamstrings, low back. Let's spend a few breaths here if you can. If your legs are not so tight, then you can start cycling out the legs, just like you were riding a bike. Couple breaths there, relax the head and neck. If you want, you can do the same thing with the elbows, cycling out the elbows, and then slowly begin to walk the feet forward towards the hands. Gently begin to roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming to your standing pose. If you've got extra time in the morning, you can do that whole sequence five to 10 times, and it'll really get your heart rate going, and it'll warm up every single muscle in the body. Now you can do that sequence at night as well. I would probably skip the back bend. Otherwise, you can come down to the floor for your night sequence. Come down, use your yoga mat, or you can use your um, you can use your bed if you're ready to go to bed. Just do the sequence in your bed. You're going to slowly come down towards the floor, and let's just squeeze that right knee in towards the chest. Give it a nice juicy squeeze, and take that left leg, stretch it. Really great to do twists at the end of the day because that's detoxifying, right? Back bends are great to do at the beginning of the day or even in the middle of the day for energy. Then you're gonna take that right knee, cross it over towards the left side for a twist. This is where your spinal twist, wringing out the toxins in the spine. You can let your right arm go straight out to the right. Take five to 10 breaths here if you can. Come back to center and you're gonna do the other side. Take your twist, five to 10. Get a good hip stretch, because especially if we've been sitting at the computer all day, sitting, driving all day, you're gonna cross that right ankle, super flex that foot right over that left thigh, and draw that knee into the chest. Five to 10 here to stretch the hip. You're gonna feel it all through that right glute, right hamstring, right thigh. Should feel delicious. Couple breaths there, and then you're gonna switch sides few breaths there. Then we'll stretch that right leg, rotate the ankle, just releasing any tension in our ankle, right? In our joints, you can point flex. Take the other side, couple breaths there, get a good stretch. Ooh, I heard a good crack there. That's a good thing. Get rid of all that air in between those joints. And then from here, you can take the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to open up nice and wide, getting the inner thigh stretch. You can kind of butterfly side to side. Take a few deep breaths there. Squeeze those knees into the chest. Give them a good squeeze. Maybe take the forehead towards the knees. And then you can gently release. Take the legs up, arms up, give them a good shake, like a hokey pokey wiggle. And then slowly release the legs down towards the floor. You're ready for your sleep or maybe a few moments of meditation to reflect on your intention for the day. Place the palms to the low belly or the heart. Take some deep breaths in through the nose. Feel free to let it out with a sigh. And then right before you drift off to sleep, take a few moments to dip the full physical body in a state of gratitude in gratefulness that all you were able to give today and all you were able to receive. We have so much more to talk about, but until next time, be good to yourself, drink lots of water, 
and call your mother. Namaste.